This is problem number three from section 1.2. In this problem, we're going to find uh, some various composition of functions. Uh, for the f of x function, x plus 3, and g of x function, x squared minus 2. So, first thing we want to do is we want to start with part a and start plugging in 0 for the g function. So I'm going to say a equals, or part a, we're going to do f of g of 0, which means take 0, plug into g function. So I get f with an input of, now g of 0 is going to be 0 squared minus 2. So I write 0 squared minus 2, which ends up with f of, that'd be 0 minus 2, that's negative 2, which f of negative 2, I take negative 2, plug it in here, and I get negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. So that's part A, which is 1. Part B, I have g of f of 0. Now I'm taking 0, plugging into f first. So I have g f of 0. That's 0 plus 3. So I have 0 plus 3 in here, which is just 3. So I have g of 3. I take 3, plug into that function. I get 3 squared minus 2, which is 9 minus 2, which is... 7. Part C, I got f of g of x. So f of g of x. Now we just take the function and actually plug it into the f, of that, uh, the f function. So we're going to say that's f of x squared minus 2. I plug that in, I get x squared minus 2. Right, I'm plugging that in for the x part in the f function plus 3, which when I combine those, I don't really need the parentheses. I end up with x squared plus 1. Now I'm going to do part d, which is g of f of x. So I'm taking the f function, plugging into g. So that's going to be g of x plus 3 which is equal to x plus 3 going in for x squared. So I have x plus 3 squared now, minus 2. So x plus 3 squared, I need to write this out as x plus 3, x plus 3. Don't be that person that just tries to square each of those. That's not how that works, right? So then we end up with x times x is x squared. Uh, 3, well, we we'll do x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, three, 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2, I'll just put 7 here. Keep in mind, I did 9, and then I just subtracted the 2, so that's plus 7. So you end up with x squared plus 6x plus 7 for uh, g of f of x. Now part e. I'm doing f of f of negative 4. So I get f of, when I plug in negative 4 into that function, I get negative 4 plus 3. So I have f of negative 1. When I add those, I plug negative 1 into that function again. I get f, or not f, negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. Part F, G of G of 4. So G of G of 4. I take 4, plug it into the G function, so I end up with G of 4 squared minus 2. 4 squared 16. Minus 2 is 14, so I have g of 14. Now I end up with 14 squared, right? Plug that into the function again. Minus 2, 14 squared. So 
It's 196, so I end up with 196 minus 2, which is 194. Now I have a uh, part G, right? Part G? Yes. Part G, which is f of f of x. And now I'm taking the actual function, the f function, plugging it back into itself. So I end up with f of x plus 3. I take x plus 3, plug it into itself. So I end up with x plus 3 plus 3 which I don't really need the parentheses, so that's x plus 6. And last but not least, h, which is g of g of x. So I'm going to say g of g of x, which is g of, I'm going to use x squared minus 2, right, the g function, equals... I plug it back into itself, so I have uh, x squared minus 2 squared, right, plug it in for x, minus 2. Now I need to do some distributing here, and so I end up with x squared minus 2 times x squared minus 2 minus 2. I'm going to do just like I did with this problem here. I'm going to say that equals x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Uh, minus 2x squared here. And then minus 2x squared here. So that's minus 4x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2 gives you positive 4. But I'm also going to subtract the 2 at the same time that's out here. So that's positive 4 minus 2, which is just 2. I kind of skipped some steps here, but if you write it out, you'll definitely get to the correct answer.